Thank you, Rocky, for your kind words and for being such a great Sports Car Magazine teammate. I'll start by saying that I'm deeply honored to be recognized by my fellow SCCA members for this prestigious award. But it is much more about the team than it is about me. As a racer, Wolf Barnato won the 24 hours of Le Mans three times, and no one knew better what teamwork meant. As part of the legendary Bentley Boys, he was representing a car company he helped to finance. Wikipedia tells us that Barnato's attitude to a new sport that took his interest was to immerse himself in the learning process, practicing endlessly and taking lessons only from the very best instructors he could find. I found those life instructors in the SCCA. They quite literally raised me to adulthood. Like members of the SCCA, Wolf Barnato was fueled by his enthusiasm, attracted to competition, and ultimately defined and immortalized by his embrace of like-minded people who valued teamwork. These same qualities are what the SCCA has stood for since I first discovered it as a long-haired teenager when I was dreaming of a life in racing. The SCCA helped me realize who I am and why I'm here to do what I do with my life. I met the most important mentors in my life through our wonderful club. In May 1983, newly hired SCCA President Nick Craw said yes to what would be a 40-year journey to now. Along the way, he taught me valuable lessons about business and life. The two most important were to be a good partner and a great teammate which leads me to wanting to share this iconic award with all of the sports car editors I've served with since 1977, when I became the art director and managing editor of this great magazine. Thank you to each and every one of you who made this possible. Now let's hear from them. Well, thank you, Paul. Friend, boss, employer, racing partner for so many years. Um, it is difficult to think back on all the things that happened in the 1970s, but one strong memory that I have is um, being lured away from my happy Formula Ford racing New England region world into the wilds of Southern California to edit Sports Car Magazine. I was not prepared for the, uh, the culture shock and I certainly didn't have the skills to be an editor. So after three issues, um, I bailed on you. Happily, Lorna Fitz was on the scene shortly after I left. I'm just honored to be here amongst all of these fantastic people who are really editors or managing editors. Uh, my time in sports car was the time when, when Paul Fanner and Paul Oxman gave me the opportunity to learn the publishing business. And I'm forever grateful for that. Thank you so much. And uh, I also learned uh, what it was like to be amongst the sports car SCCA family. And it's a huge family, it's very welcoming. I learned all about the core of the club, uh, the, the basic racer, all the way up to the more professional racers. And I'm just always grateful for that. So I've had the opportunity, the privilege to be editor of a sports car on two occasions, once briefly with the Paul Oxman Enterprises before we started on track and later with Paul Fanner's enter entry. And I've gained a great respect for the massive membership of the Sports Car Club of America, but the highlight of my tenure was getting to go to Road Atlanta for the runoffs because the runoffs is the essence of the SCCA. And then we, I moved on and we did racer. Well, in 86 was my kind of second time at um, Sports Car. I'd been, I'd worked at the national office as the national editor working with Lorna and Steve and I think John Zimmerman. Huge challenge, great fun. I got to um, harass, I think is the right word, a lot of people to get stories in and to get even basic results. One thing I always remember, I was tickled when um, the event calendar in the back didn't change after we'd gone to press. So that was, that was one of the things that made me happy. So in 1994, Paul Fanner took a chance on a kid from Texas who had uh, submitted some race reports and photos to sports car and begged for a job. And i uh, um, happy to say that, that for me at least, that uh, that opportunity played out very nicely uh, in, in my life. Uh, I spent 14 years working on the magazine uh, from 99 to 2006 as editor. 
uh, and uh, it's it's it and SCCA have uh, were a part of my life uh, for that time and well beyond. Uh, it's been my pleasure to be a contributor to the magazine since and uh, be involved in uh, several facets of SCCA as well. Uh, I want to thank, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to work alongside uh, Rich McCormack, uh, John Zimmerman, who was uh, the, an editor of Racer, and Steve Nicholas, who was also uh, in the office working on other projects. So uh, I, I learned from some of the best and uh, and uh, was hopefully able to uh, pass some of that along to uh, future editor Philip Royal. So Richard hired me and I had almost, I thought I had a lot of experience uh, in publishing and I thought I understood the club, but it, it quickly became apparent that I had no idea really what I was doing. And after I think a year and a half, I became the editor and I, I knew a little bit more and a little bit more. And then through the next 15 to 17 years, I, I slowly got a handle on the club, but discovered that there's still more to be, uh, to be had in all of this. But the thing I enjoyed the most was, it was the, the quality of the product. And always in the office, you'd push more and more for a better product. And it always came through, and we had uh, Lawrence Foster, uh, who kind of heads up Racer now, and he was just always pushing, Paul was always pushing, and that, I think, ultimately is, has changed my entire career, the outlook on life, everything. Uh, just pushing for the extra bit, that extra second. I um, grew up as an SCCA brat. My parents dragged us around uh, all the tracks in Southern California, a few in Northern California and Arizona. Just um, super grateful for the opportunity to grow up in, in SCCA. Uh, I first met Paul Fanner at a race when I was about 13 years old. And um, I never imagined then that I would be the current man managing editor of Sports Car Magazine. So I'm so... Uh, proud to be a part of the of the sports car team um it's just an amazing group of individuals and my part was so small well paul what a ride what a journey i first came out to work on sports car uh, at your beckoning left was brought back in 1979 pearl harbor day 1979 i arrived here to do sports car and, and do a good job on sports car i i hoped and thought um, in 1980 and, and beyond. And uh, sadly, you had left by then following your entrepreneurial spirit and your entrepreneurial thoughts to, uh, to start your own company. Um, thank you, Paul, for initiating that whole experience, um, for, for bringing me into the professional world of magazine editing and, uh, and giving me the chance to, uh, to learn my craft through Sports Car Magazine. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Steve, for helping me close out this amazing chapter in both of our lives. I also want to thank Jeff Swart, who I met when he was a photographer in 1977. Jeff and I later launched Racer Magazine together with the help of Bill Sparks, who started with us working on Finish Line Magazine, the Cal Club region's official publication. Also, thank you to Diane Gilliam, who worked for decades as our proofreader and managing editor. Paul Leggett, who still works with us today as our illustrator and art director, but twice served as Sports Cars art director. Ree Tucker, whose brilliant work has graced the pages of Sports Car Magazine for nearly two decades. Ree is the longest serving art director in the history of Sports Car. Raylan Stone Oaks, who is our advertising director and who has kept us going all these years with her enthusiasm for racing and sports car magazine. Rob and Chris Dyson, my partners in racer media and marketing, they began their lives in racing as SCCA club racers. And of course, I met my wife, Donna Chamberlain Fanner, when she was the ad director for sports car magazine. All of this would not have happened without the grace and support of SCCA members who encouraged all of us along the way. We're forever grateful to this club and we look forward to what comes next. We know you've got this because teamwork will carry you forward to the next era of communications and member engagement in our great club. Thank you everyone.